public health surveillance is the missing piece of the puzzle in fighting the spread of malaria. It gives us a clear picture of who is suffering most from infectious diseases and where trends are occurring. Sudden outbreaks, such as those caused by the Ebola or Zika viruses, can become a global crisis. With good surveillance, epidemics can be spotted, rapidly addressed and even anticipated and prevented. Malaria surveillance is currently weakest in countries with the highest malaria burden. This makes it difficult to assess disease trends accurately and plan interventions. Good data, provided via a robust surveillance system, however, would allow stretched governments to target resources like nets, diagnostics and medicines to where they are needed most. We would also be able to evaluate the impact of malaria programs so that governments know what works best where. But intelligence provided by a surveillance system would only be valuable if it is analysed and used properly. This gap in the information to action cycle is one of the biggest challenges faced by malaria control programmes. Meanwhile, new digital health systems are helping to improve the quality of surveillance data. This includes electronic mHealth reporting tools, mapping and geolocation, and automated early warning systems. We need a data revolution to fully understand each country's malaria burden. A strong surveillance system that provides data in real time would provide this. A World Health Organization target is to reduce malaria cases and deaths by 90% by 2030, with at least 35 countries having eliminated malaria. If we are to achieve this, we need smarter, data-driven ways to fight malaria. Donors need to support high-quality surveillance programs. Governments need to strengthen systems and skills to use this data for public health action, allowing them to achieve more with less. Strong surveillance is fundamental to achieving malaria elimination. Without good quality data effectively used, we will fail.